Hi, so today I'm here in the woods. Um, I've just bought a new hammock. So, uh, and I've been playing around with my tarp as well, trying to get the knots right and that. And um, what I do is I thought I'd just make a video uh, to make a reference video of the knots that I use for my tarp and also i'll put my hammock up as well and uh show you the knots for that and how i do that as well um it's it's mainly for my own reference just in case i forget sometimes um and then i've got a video to go back to a reference just to tuck up on how to do it but uh you might you might like this video and you might find uh, you might find it helpful for you as well so uh i've got my dd three times three tarp and my DD travel hammock. So uh, I'll put the tarp up first and uh, I'll show you the knots that I'm gonna use. So here we go. So let's get the, uh, the tarp out first. So we'll just pull the tarp out. I just stuffed it in there last time, as you see when you're out. I'll also show you my other bits. So I've got my pegs here. Uh, get, just get my pegs out and uh, and my little guy ropes in there as well. So I've got my guy ropes in there as well. Right. So and I've got me. Right, so I've got my rig line here. And also I've got my prosecs with my little mini carabiners that I bought off of eBay. I bought all this uh, paracord off of eBay. So this is all paracord. Para the only thing that's not paracord is the, um, the guy lines that you get with the tarp. So there's that and that. Right, so. That's, it. that's the way I unravel it, yeah. Got the one there. All right, so. It's just unraveled the uh, paracord. So that's the thing about all this bushcrafting and rig lines and all that. Right, so we got all that out quickly in a manner that I can get it all set up. Right, so let's get it. Right, so we, I'm gonna, cause I know it's probably wide enough I'm gonna go for a diamond formation. So we want one corner of that end. And another corner of this end. Right, so I do that like that. Obviously, I don't I don't want to leave it all set up all the time because that's not how I'm going to do it. So, so thread thread that through that, and then we thread it through the middle one, and then thread it through there. So. Now, uh, obviously my hammock's gonna probably go up about that high. So I've got to get the, uh, the rig line a bit higher than that, a little bit higher than that. So probably about that high. Right, so my first knot is gonna be, uh, so over and under, so over and under, right? And then over and back through. And then you create a loop. And then with that loop, what you do is you get a stick. And you put a toggle on it. So that toggle stops the knot from coming undone and then you give that a good tug and you can see that's solid so that's my first knot 
So I think it's called a half hitch and then a half hitch with a, with a tag or a loop or whatever you want to call it. So, so we do our, our second knot. So we get the, uh, the rope up around the tree, the paracord, and then we put it a bit tight. So, and then we create a loop and then pull another loop through. So you do a loop and then you pull another loop through with the hand and then you pull the other side of the paracord through so you pull the other side of the paracord through and then, and then you pull it tight so let's put it tight tight as you can and then what you do is you put you go over and then you pull it back through and loop it back through like that and that's the second knot the next thing is we've got we've got our our mini carabiners with our loops there so if i can get it undone we're a bit tangled up here all right that's it so we've got our mini carabiners with our loops so then what we do is we've got to make a prosec so a prosec is this so you just put the loop over and then you loop that through so and then you do that probably a few times so you get a nice prosec like that and then you so that's a prosec so then you you pull your and then you clip that on so that that tightens this so this so basically that won't pull like that but if you go like that you can move it so to put a guy rope on this is all you do is you just give it a couple of dub, double ho overhand knots because that'll hold all right and then you always start with the uh with the uh i don't know i don't know what these plastic toggles are called but you start with that at the bottom and then you get you go like that so that's how you adjust it so you put the peg through there put it up like that and then you've got some adjusting room and you can you can tighten it there and adjust it more right so that's one side done and here we go again so a couple start with that at the bottom oh a couple of dub, double overhand knots is all you need for these and then pull the bottom loop out put it out a bit So that there is your uh, your diamond tarp formation. So now we will get the hammock set up. Here's the hammock. We will take it out. Take it out of the bag. I got it in the uh, I got it in a, a sheath. So and there's the poles the poles as well right so what we do is we take that out see that ends come out first so 
we'll take this end out first you what you do you roll it down you roll that down and then you go this end so you know that's the right way up like that and then you want you want to make sure the you got a nice so the they go around the tree the right way so you're not folding them up and then that one round like that so so what you do is first of all you start off all we're gonna do is do a shoelace a shoelace knot and then a bow uh, it's pretty bit 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 further a bit a bit back for a bit more because I probably need a bit more and then just do a shoelace knot right and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a couple of toggles in there so all this will do is by putting a couple of toggles in there it will secure the knot so when you pull on it that knot won't budge so you can use an overhand knot but I don't trust it quite as much so then we get the other end out here see that's my tip is to, is to use um, the shoelace knot with the overhand knot and then the shoelace loops but to put the toggles in because then it can't just come undone as if by magic when you're asleep uh, at night uh, and then you fall on the floor and break your back so we got the other end out we pull that down a bit so we make sure we get it the right way so that's the right way and then and then we go so we make sure we do it again so they're not Right, so we pull that round. We get it up a bit higher there, and then same again. We will tie a shoelace knot. put some toggles in there again also I'll you know try and get a get a decent stick you know nothing too fragile uh, as well so just a couple of toggles in the loops in the tags or the loops or whatever you want to call them lock them off a bit right so and there's that's my um my hammock put up so and then we pull the sheath all the way up so that's the sheath all the way up so that's how i put my hammock up i'll just uh i'll just finish the job by Securing the what we do is we'll just secure this. Yeah. 
in the same way as the other knot I done. So the, the hitch and then the loop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some uh, I'm going to put some car mini carabiners on there and then we'll do the other one do the other one up round here So done that. Right. So I've got that in there. Push it all the way in. Secure it like that. right so there you go so there it is with the uh that's the hammock in there with that so what we can do now is we can try and adjust this a bit adjust that a bit just to pull it off a little bit uh, maybe adjust this a little bit as well anyway Just this a little bit. Right, I think once you sit in it, it'll it'll go down. So this uh, this sit in it. Get in it, and that. See now my weight's in it. It comes down from the uh, top a bit. And now that is how you uh, you do your hammock. So I hope you found this quite helpful. And uh, yeah, I hope you found it quite helpful. And it comes in handy to you. So thanks for watching, uh, I hope you like this video and it's helpful to you. It's certainly going to be helpful to me just as a future reference because if I don't do something for a while then uh, I forget my knots maybe and, and it will just be helpful so I can remember myself. So, And I've always got a video there to look it up as well. So hope it's helpful to you and I'll see you again sometime.